Hello, welcome to the Monday, November 19th, 2018 edition of the Sands and at Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. To start out, uh, we got two diaries from this weekend that sort of really address uh, different parts of the same problem. And that's in particular as you're starting investigating a packet capture or a website, it's often important to get a quick feel for is this malicious, is this not malicious to then decide whether or not you really want to spend more time with this particular event. And typically that's also a very difficult, important decision to make for an analyst. The first tool is Looky Loo. It comes from Circle, the Luxembourg uh, cert, and it does help you investigate websites. It sort of enumerates all the different tools like JavaScript and such being used on the site, but it also tells you from which other sites does this website include content. And of course, we have seen this numerous times in the recent past, in particular with like the mage card uh, incidents and such, where malicious code is being added to a particular site that then causes malicious behavior. The second tool that Guy wrote up goes by the well, not so quite imaginative name of multi-purpose PCAP analysis tool and that's a tool that was uh, written by a student in England as part of his master's thesis and uh, what it does is it loads a packet capture and then it sort of flags certain indicators of malicious behavior so it does compare the packet capture for example IP addresses to known malicious IP addresses from various uh, block lists and such so again uh, probably gives you sort of a quick tip. Hey, this is something that I need to look at closer, something that I've seen before. The tool itself is actually a little GUI tool written in Java. So yes, you have to install Java in order to run this tool. It also has some neat sort of simple visualization elements. And Gmail apparently is having issues or had issues displaying the from field in email addresses correctly in certain circumstances. Now, anybody who is using email probably realizes that the from field can easily be spoofed. Now, there are a couple technologies that help a little bit with that, like DKIM and DMARC and the like, but overall, you shouldn't trust the from field. This problem here is a little bit different than just spoofing the from field. The first issue is that you can actually claim that an email came from the recipient. So I can send you an email that claims to be sent by you. What happens with that is that Gmail will actually add this particular email then to your sent box. So I can make it look like you actually sent this particular email. What exactly happens here is that as part of the from field, you have the user's name and the user's email address. If the name can pretty much be anything. So I can also use an email address as a name and then add a second email address where usually you'll find the email address between the less than and the greater than tag within the from header. Well, it uh, turns out that this is exactly where Gmail goes wrong and where it then interprets this header badly. The other problem and a different researcher found that is that if I sort of have unbalanced quotes and add things like data URLs and such as part of the from field, then the from field will not be displayed at all. The problem with this is that this now looks like sort of a Gmail system message, basically a message that you received from Gmail internally. And of course, that could then be used for phishing. In general, it's actually pretty awful and difficult to write a functional and safe webmail client. The problem you have here is that so much email these days does include HTML and you have to render the HTML from the email message then cleanly within the HTML of the webmail client. And that always leads to problems like this. Now, yes, in the from header, you aren't really supposed to have 
HTML tags and the like. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of variability here when it comes to even legitimate from headers, not just malicious from headers. Well, and this is sort of it for today. This week, of course, will be a short week. I'm planning on three different podcasts. This one and then one for Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, of course, Thanksgiving in the United States. So no podcast for Thursday and also no podcast for Friday. That's it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.